Everybody. Welcome to another lovely Wednesday here on Get It Got It Good. I am your host, Naja Wilhite, and today in the building with us we have Robin Jones. We want to apologize. We've had a little bit of technical difficulties this morning, but you know, the show must go on as yes, always. Yes, yes. Now, if you're watching us from WBGR Health and Wellness, hello. Hello, Facebook fam. Hello, hello. <laughs> And we want to thank you all for your patience. We love the fact that you've called in, <laughs> that you've texted, like, where is Somebody the show? loves me, yes. People are calling in to see what's going on. But we so, got it exactly. So, you guys, this lady next to me today is so powerful and has made such a transition. Because I know a lot of you guys are like, okay, okay, okay. How do I go from point A to point B? Your background is nursing, right? Right. So, what are you, an RN? Yes, I'm an RN. So that's a lot of school, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have my master's as well. So See? I love nursing, but um, this transition has been um, exciting, and um, the field is wide open, so I'm glad to be here. And she looks like me, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh, yes. but just because in, in this industry, you guys that don't know, she is a movie director and producer. And in this industry, there's not many movie directors and producers <laughs> that look like us, right? <laughs> you're right. You're right. And the number of women is even smaller. But, you know, we're making a transition. It's, it's our time. So I'm excited for all the men in the film industry that have really... Um, poured out into my life and been a mentor to me so I'm excited about that because I'm learning from all different types of producers and writers so it's exciting see I love my men however <laughs> will somebody please remake James Brown it's man's world oh my goodness. <laughs> put it to women okay I'm just you know having fun today mm -hmm. but <laughs> this introduction will do more than what I can actually say. So you guys, stay with us briefly as we go and watch. You want to say it? Um, it's showing up, save my life. Yes, thank you. You have so many. Okay, guys, we'll be right back after this. It's showing up, save my life. As a woman, I move steady and heavy, never able to quit. Never able to quit. Gotta just keep going. But I showed up. Sexually molested by a neighbor when I was young. Oh my God. unwed teen mother and raised in an abusive home when my parents divorced it was so hard but I showed up new research studies confirmed that abuse has a long shelf life I am a witness to that it has a long shelf life at age 40 having to date again oh my god cheetah cheetah pumpkin eater I don't even think there are any more faithful men out here I was married, then divorced. Oh, so hard at times. Baby with heart disease. I suffered with allergies. But I showed up. Back to school I go. I got my RN, my BSN, and my MSN. I'm a producer of eight movies in 2.5 years. I love nursing. I've been a nurse for 33 years. And when you show up, it will save your life. Welcome back, you guys. Like I said, that will give you so much more than what I can do justice for, right? So, Absolutely. So tell us about what they just witnessed. Because it was powerful when I watched it several times. <laughs> yeah, it was a um, 
purging of what's been going on in my life since I was small. And it took this time in my life for me to kind of let it out. And I can't tell you what was the the deciding factor that made me do it, but I know transitioning from nursing to film gave me a a, um, venue to do it. So did showing up save my life really reflects um, all the things I've been through and just never quitting, just keep, you know, showing up. And whatever happens is always a good outcome like today, you know, mm-hmm. driving up here to Maryland and all this crazy traffic and then getting here and meeting some awesome people and having this opportunity. So um, just showing up and not quit no matter what it looked like, you'll, you'll be all right. I think you brought the technical difficulties with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because <laughs> you've had so many, right? You guys. As you know, I'm all about, you know, the mental state that it takes in order to succeed and go after your goals. And I always say one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. You don't necessarily have to know how you're going to get to point B. All you have to do is just get through the day. Each day, you could go and get a little bit better. So then, this gave you a platform. So how did you even get to this from nursing? You go to work and all of a sudden you jump into movies? (laughs) <laughs> well, it's kind of interesting. Facebook really has um, transformed my life. Um, a childhood friend spotted me on Facebook. We got to talking about what we've been doing and, you know, just having chit-chat, catch, catching up because we live next door to each other. And I said, if you Wait, ever need up. me. You live next door to each other, but they reached out per, uh, via Facebook? Right, because we lived next door to each other when we were kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was in Florida when we were kids. And so we grew up and went our separate ways. And then he spotted me on Facebook and looked me up. And then I started asking about all the family and everybody in the neighborhood. And it just kind of transformed into this. And he told me that he had gotten into the film industry. He had just started and just shared the adventure. And so I said, if you ever need me give me a call and lo and behold he called shortly after that and told me about an awesome project called a turnaround um a project written by james hunter out of orlando and i told him you know my friend that i you know it sounded like a great project i wanted to you know talk to james and when i talked to james on the phone it was just amazing how he pitched the the story Mm -hmm. and also just the passion that was in it And it um, really excited me to get involved in the film industry. And I did some investing, flew down and was on set. And I fell in love with the process and the people because they really work hard. Mm -hmm. They they know what the vision is and it takes a huge team to put it together. But um, that was the platform that got me to where I'm at now. So you guys, several key things that you've said in that. First of all, you made an investment of time, energy, money to get down there and then the fact that it takes a team it's the networking you got you cannot get anywhere without anybody else i don't care what you think or what you believe in order to succeed you're going to have to trust other people learn how to work in teams i know the kids are learning to do that in schools with team projects and stuff but it it goes into your adult life you got to make those bridges and and cultivate those those relationships right 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 and and it's important to share your your friends and networking ability with other people because a lot of times you think well if I tell this person they're going to get ahead of me it's enough for everybody and it's so important because people have strengths and weaknesses Mm -hmm. know your lane stay in your lane the stuff you're good at take it to the top the stuff that you're weak in hire people you know let them hang out with you on set and people will hang out for free because they want to learn that craft. So you can always barter and different things like mm-hmm. that. But people like to be paid. Pay your <laughs> workers because <laughs> so they, will, keep them. <laughs> yeah, they will be loyal and they will do an outstanding job. Yes. So you talk about bartering. It's not always about pay. Sometimes your the knowledge that you gain is right. more important than a hundred dollar paycheck not saying hundred but you know what I mean. right right so is that how when you got on set i know you had a lot of stuff to learn was it like a new world a new language um it was it was a new world for me and watching the dynamics of the team but what was interesting it, it really marries well with nursing because in mm-hmm. nursing you know people come in they have a, a illness or a problem then we have to figure out a plan and then we execute And then once we execute, we evaluate. So when I look at film, I go into it with the same process in mind. And so I've been able to connect with multiple teams of people and stories. And I ask them all the time. I say, I'm a novice. I haven't even been in it three years, but I've got a long resume already. And they said, 
they've been following me on Facebook, mm -hmm. they're watching my moves, they're watching, you know, I'm, I'm a nurse as well as well, I do stuff in the community, I have a family, and I'm pretty well rounded. Mm -hmm. And so that helps them to see that, you know, this person is not gonna quit until we cross the line. And I really try to, you know, be very um, intentional about what I do mm -hmm. and, and what teams I sign up with. Indeed, so how do you go about deciding what are the right peoples and partnerships to go after? Because everybody looks pretty. They come all pretty and wrapped and right. everything, but. Right, I think um, social media really kind of opens the door to a person. Some people say social media is um, fake and all of that, but I go pretty deep into it. When people, you know, hit me, I get a lot of my work off of um, Facebook Messenger. Mm -hmm. I go into their page, I see who their friends are, I see what they're doing. If they're about business, then, you know, and I see their background in mm -hmm. there as well, then, you know, I talk a little more, I might have to go meet them and get a, get a vibe off of them, but I can say to you that probably three of my projects, I've never met the people and I've invested and um, is moving quickly because I looked at their history, their work act, ethic, and from nursing, past practice. Mm -hmm. So if they start something, they finish, and I see great outcomes, I'm willing to invest because um, people invested in me like that too. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I haven't made any um, business deals that I regret. All of them I learned something from, yeah. So we're talking about the movie industry, the entertainment industry, you guys, you millennials, a lot of my viewers are millennials, right? You millennials, be careful what you put out there. Social media, people won't research. They always say you cannot get a job if you put certain things on social media or you get right. fired from your positions. Guess what? It is so true because yeah. I do research on people as well. Yes, <laughs> so I know. about all of the things that I've stolen off of social media. <laughs> yeah, I know when I met you and you asked me to be on your show and I was we were talking about me sending you stuff, you say, oh, no, I'll go through your Facebook page. And I was like, okay. I go through it all. I will yeah. Google you. I will go through right, it right. all. <laughs> so it's important when you're on Facebook, if people, you have friends and they start you know, showing some explicit stuff or talking in a way that you know doesn't line up with your mission, then you might need to hide some of their posts or you might need to cut the cord. But, um, and sometimes I even messenger people and say, hey, do you really? And they might say, you know, I didn't even perceive it like that. So mm -hmm. um, it's good to communicate how it looks on the other end because, mm -hmm. you know, the, the line keeps running. You can go back four years and yes. look at stuff. Yeah. And it's crazy because the old uh, saying, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Right. So if you're hanging around with somebody who's doing dirty, they're going to assume just by association that you are doing dirty as well or that you must have some type of issues where you can align yourself with certain types of people. We all got right. past you guys. Trust me. <laughs> right. But that's why I feel it's so important to really, mm -hmm. um, if you if someone wants to work with me and their Facebook page looks good and then I get a couple references from some of their friends on Facebook too because mm -hmm. I'll hit people's friends and say, hey, you know, and talk to them, and they'd be like, oh, my God, they're the sweetest person. They're going to make sure stuff get done. Mm -hmm. And then from that, I might end up hiring them to do something, too, because they're, like, saying, oh, I want to do this, so I'm mm -hmm. interested. So I think I, I don't I don't judge people just by Facebook, but it's a segue into, you know, what they're doing on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. If they haven't been on their page in six months and they're talking about doing something, it kind of seems like they, it's a disconnect there. So I might be a little more hesitant to sign on. It's marketing. You have yeah. to put yourself out there. So you guys, really quick, let's take a look at the one that has changed your trajectory. Okay? You okay. want to introduce it for us? Um, it's The Turnaround by James Hunter, filmed out of Orlando. All right, guys, so we'll be right back after right back. this. try to rationalize our non-Christ-like behavior. Bro, you must have a problem, bro. Oh, yeah. Man. What's wrong with you, man? It's not even worth it. Hey, man, it's a problem. Oh. You give me the word, I put all them just on the t-shirt. I actually had something mm. that I wanted to tell you, too. So you rather put in work for everybody else to help them build their business. You're fired. You gonna fire me? You could be right here with us getting this bread building our business. And you got us fired from the community service job. And that was free. For every 
action, there will either be a positive consequence or a negative consequence. I need the stuff that you were giving me before you went back to jail. Marky, you're not hanging out with your cousin, are you? I hear he's been hustling with his cousin D-Rock lately. Drugs? I believe that you have been anointed to be able to reach those that society has deemed unreachable. But first you gotta get right with God so you can be able to be that beacon of light to those still living in darkness. I've seen this story before so I already know how it ends. Do you feel like God is looking out for us? With you either going to jail or worse, dead. cool. Cause better go out with a bang. <laughs>
these people, because your background is nursing, you went to school mm-hmm. for nursing, and then there are people who go to school to, to do movies. Right. Um, but what would you say is a path, or is there any particular path well, for those who may want to be in, in the industry? It's interesting. They have college degrees mm-hmm. for filmmaking, and you go to different schools. Full Sail is a school I, I think about all the time because most of the people I work with went to that school. My son is going to that school. Really? He wants to go there. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I got yes. some friends that can tell him all about it and tell you about it as well. But there are a lot of people in film that have no formal training. And I find it really interesting because I can't always pick them out. Because if you get under the right person to mentor you, you really fit in well. Mm-hmm. You really do. And so I've been fortunate. Um, James Hunter, um, Ed Love, um, Donnie Crawford, Will Robot, Lorenzo. It's, I can go on and on with the names of people that have poured into me. And I have a um, mentor out of California, MJ Harris, mm-hmm. who is um, he is a millionaire, and he owns um, an, uh, one of the largest black-owned insurance companies. And he's my mentor, and he teaches on a holistic view of success. And just understanding, until you get outside of your comfort zone, you, you're not into success. You're into that comfort zone of just rolling through life. So this was very uncomfortable at first, but um, it's starting to feel kind of kind of good and fuzzy and all of that so then once it feels good and fuzzy (laughs) then you got to push the envelope a little bit more (laughs) you you have to you have to you have to show up to things that you don't really know what the outcome looked like Mm. and that's part of being a nurse you Mm -hmm. i i I, you you give it your best and you hope the outcome is good so coming up here today was a prime example driving by myself Mm -hmm. i met you in december yep and we talked for a few minutes and then we stayed in touch and now i'm here Yes, it's a process, you guys. Everything is not a quick turnaround. For us, it was <laughs> quick. <laughs> it was a couple months. Um, but life doesn't always work that way. You got to right. invest. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Exactly. You can't go anywhere without stretching yourself. You can't do the mundane, the everyday without, exactly. and then expect something. <laughs> exactly. And, and I tell people, they ask me, what do I do? I'm a nurse by day from 7 to 3.30. And then around five, I get into my promoter mode. And that could go on to midnight because it's different than nursing. Mm -hmm. It's so many pieces to it. So my hat's off to all the filmmakers because you guys work hard. And I'm trying to be just like y'all. They work really hard. So the reason why I choose the people I do to bring on the show is because examples. There are no excuses. If you want to do something, you go and do it. Most entrepreneurs have multiple gigs. I'm always called yes. the one with like 15 jobs, they yes. jokingly say. Yes. It's almost that, but <laughs> and, but you got to yeah. do that. And that's powerful because in the Bible it talks about having multiple streams of income. So, you know, between nursing, filmmaking, I own a rental property, I do investing, I sell t-shirts, and I have a business called Kidney Keepers where I educate mm-hmm. people on kidney disease. You, you have to um, push the card because at the end of the day, all of that, that's those footprints that identify who you was once you leave here. Mm-hmm. And um, my goal was to ultimately write a book three years ago, and it turned into this. You know, I had an idea, but God's idea was much bigger than mm-hmm. mine. It always is. Yeah. You never can <laughs> guesstimate where you'll wind up, right? Right, exactly. Speaking of T-shirts, why don't you just display yours? Oh, um, this is my <laughs> Closer T-shirt, because I have a company called Closer Productions, and it has just been an amazing adventure. And I also have a um, t-shirt saying, I showed up. And um, I've sold a lot of those showing that I showed She's up. She's gonna bring me a t-shirt. Yes, <laughs> I'll be back on Friday and I will bring you a t-shirt. And I, it's just important to show up, even when you don't feel like it. And I learned um, something I tell myself every day, I learned this from my mentor, MJ Harris, um, tell your feelings how to feel. So mm-hmm. some days you really like, you just don't want to, but that. I tell your feelings how to feel. We need to get going. We need to get this done because it's, it's not going anywhere. It's still going to be there. So just get it done. Tell your feelings how, how to, to feel. feel. You cannot be led by your feelings. You have to get up and do it anyway. 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 And, you know, fake it till you make it. That's right. That's right. That's what you got to do. It's the only way to be. So we did, um, did we do the third video? 
courage to stand. Which is what's coming up now. now. This is a powerful faith-based movie, and um, it just premiered a couple weeks ago. And it's it's just, it was done by Tim Miller. Ed Love is one of the producers, and um, I'm also one of the executive producers on this project. And it, it's just an amazing um, movie, so I can't wait till it comes out for people to really, it's going to, it's going to spark a lot of good conversation. And that's what we love most about making movies. Yeah, intellectual. Yeah. So, guys, take a look at Carriage to Stand, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Dr. Gaines. This is course DIL 317, Evolutionary Sciences. Three ground rules, number one, be on time. Now, first things first, let me explain to you the problem true science has with religion. Have you ever seen Jesus? Have you ever heard your Jesus? Ever smelled, touched, or tasted your Jesus? Have you had any sensory perception of Jesus Christ or God for that matter? Maybe your God doesn't exist because I get to meet so many great people, awesome. you guys. And I, I know it takes a village to raise us up into who right. we are today. Mm -hmm. exactly. So who are, the, some, who are some of the influentials in your life? Well, first and foremost um, is my mom. She's always been my biggest cheerleader, you know, leaving home early and moving away. And she's always been by my side. And definitely my kids, they um, always are excited about what, what – what I'm doing and I have two beautiful granddaughters that are just the love of my life and they're always you know wanting to know what Nene is doing and just really I'm um, sharing with their friends so it's it's great and and I have so many close girlfriends and um just some awesome folk that are on my side and I have this model say little and do much so yes that's we're gonna start yes. right there Yes. I love the fact that you're not called grandma. I don't allow my grandchild to call me grandma either. I am too young to be a grandma. That is my son's fault. <laughs> I love my babies. Um, <laughs> so that's awesome. So this um, clip that we just watched on Courage to Stand, mm -hmm. the, the thought provokingness that's in there, and you said it's going to be released when? Um, soon. 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 We just did the red carpet event. So. Um, now they're doing some editing, and then it'll be coming out. Oh soon. yeah, all and of that marketing push and stuff. Yeah, because you do some film festivals, and then you know, hope get some big deals, and then you'll see it on Netflix or something like that too. So, so really quick, just because I'm curious. Um, uh oh. <laughs> no, no, it's still. I'm not gonna be bad and ask you know, hot questions like what's your favorite color, okay, <laughs> and okay. stuff like that. But what is the process? So okay, there is a script that's developed. And then you have to pitch the script, and then you have to. <laughs> it's, I've seen different ways that it's done. Someone might have a book, and they want to turn it into a film. Mm -hmm. So they might talk to you, and then you tell them it needs to be turned into a screenplay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, once you do the screenplay, it might be too short or too long for what their dream was mm -hmm. or their vision was. 
so it might need, need to be modified or rewritten a little bit. So it just depends. And then once that's done, you, you try to solicit people that want to invest in it, or they may have the money for it themselves. Mm -hmm. Then you build the team. And once um, you do all of that, then you got to have your casting call and all of those things. You pick where it's going to be at. You try to get like a name star to be in it. And it's a process. So it, it could be a year. It could be six months. It could be five years. It just depends. And once the, the project is actually done, then the marketing strategy should be designed within the package on mm -hmm. what you plan to do with the project. So if they decide, you know, they're going to do a red carpet event and start it at the theaters and then the um, film festivals, that's why sometimes you'll see movies on TV that you've never seen in anywhere mm -hmm. else. So it depends on how they're marketing, if they're marketing it to this industry here or other countries. So it just depends. So each film writer, I think, they already have a vision of what they want to do with it. You know, they may not have any mm -hmm. plans to put it on to, at the theater. Mm -hmm. They just want it on Lifetime or TV One or Netflix, stuff like that. So uh, it just and depends. there's perks to different ones. Right, it's a process. Some people just want to do YouTube. They just mm -hmm. want to do web series. So it's so many um, platforms out there. You see um, Facebook now, like, what, the Red Table mm -hmm. Talk? Mm -hmm. Who would have thought that that took off? And it's other things coming it's on crazy. Facebook, too. So Facebook is a um, platform as well. And um, if you watch, like, ratings and understand that process, sometimes people are on TV, but people on Facebook and YouTube are getting more um, audience yeah. yeah. So you really have to look at where the audience is because who really watches a lot of regular TV? You know, all That's of us have That's the reason we do it this way, guys. Yes. Most people don't have cable anymore. We are an instant demand society. <laughs> right. We like to press play or know exactly when. Right. So... Right. I mean, there is no excuse. In, in other words, there are so many platforms. Right. I'm not an excuse person. Don't give me any bull crap. Just go do, <laughs> do it, it, you guys. Just Whatever you up. want to do, show up. Show up. One step in front of the other. That's right. Fake it till you make it and smile. Right? That's right. <laughs> smile. That's so, the universal language. Smile. Exactly. So, you guys, as always. <laughs> is it time to go? Huh? It's time to go. It always goes too fast. I but appreciate I appreciate it. you coming in. It's been fun. Yes, We're clowns, yes. you guys. It yeah. is what it is. <laughs> yeah. But it's been but it's great. about having fun and getting the information. Because you guys know, I get it, got it good. We're about getting people the information. Right. And then making sure they know where to go to get more. You know, making sure they understand it and got it. And right. then it's all good. Yes, yes, And giving absolutely. people the platforms, you guys. So, as always, come back. Join us next Wednesday, same place, same time at 11.30 on the WBGR Health and Wellness yes. channel. And remember, be an original because an original is always worth more than a copy, you guys. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. discernment to figure out who's right and who's not well it's not a perfect system uh, to <laughs> sure. this day you still find out that people will tell you that they like the project mm -hmm. and really it's about their self ambitions the sheriff's department does something may do something different in some counties the sheriff's department is actually the police department so they they handle the calls that come out from um, being being robbed to uh, noise complaints whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you may have going on in your neighborhood um, um, what you would consider the bad stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So The 45th president, if you haven't noticed what they've done with the athletes, they've hushed all the athletes, because why? These athletes will make these young folks think. Mm -hmm. If I'm following LeBron and LeBron says, hey, this is how we probably should move,
because this is going to benefit our culture and our community, mm-hmm. guess what you think that eight and nine-year-old going to remember as he grows up? What LeBron says. Of course. 